Thanks for tuning in. See you the sports fans only. Back with another video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Art the Better BF. 100% knockout ratio. Violence personified. Last video we talked about Andy Yard versus Better BF. Talked about, you know, that um that fight showed he was much more than just a power puncher. You know, a lot of, a lot of countering, slipping, you know, in the middle of the ring. I think he even caught Yard backing up, dropped him when he was um, backing up to the ropes. So he's, um, I would say, um, kind of a complicated boxing style. People look for the power, but subtle, subtle things he do to get to you and kind of put you in certain situations. Like I would say the way that he set traps. Sometimes I'm confused. I'm not sure if he's actually um, setting a trap or he's actually being pressured to the, to the corner. Sometimes it looks like the pressure is getting him there. He's getting there. You're touching him. Then he'll kind of frame and spin you into the corner. And then he'll kind of like kind of force you to engage in that close range. So, um like I was saying, um, there's all kind of ways he can use to get to the violence. It's not like he just walk you down, stalk you. You know, um, good jab to the body. A lot of people don't talk about his body work, but big pressure. Let's um, let's take a look back when he fought Joe. Fight night, June 18, 2022. New York City. Arthur Better be a versus Joe Smith Jr., a.k.a. the Beast from the East. Toe to toe. Joe was real, real aggressive. Came out. Not much head movement. Throwing big shots. He definitely was showing better BF that he wasn't going to just lay down. He was going to get knocked out on his shell. And um, I think better BF was patient for as long as the fight lasts. You know, Joe had never been down in the amateurs or professional. So I think um, you could see better BF. He just didn't rush in there. He took his time. Showed his vers versatility. And for a lot of that fight, he was just a straight-up counterpuncher, you know, kind of taking what Joe was giving him. Joe was throwing bombs, kind of making it easier to get touched up a little bit. But he, he was definitely touching Better BF, and we know Better BF, he's been on the canvas before. Um, when he hits the canvas, get up, and the violence kind of just turns up. So um, I think I might have said, you know, very underrated with the boxing skills. Joe, big, tough, strong, but on, on that night, it just looked like Joe, looked like his legs betrayed him. They just wouldn't hold him up. He was he had all his faculties, mind was there, just the power. He just his legs just unstable, just couldn't just couldn't take that power. I would say, um, and definitely I think he learned in that fight that um I think he might have came out with the game plan to keep to try to get better B of on a back foot. But you see, even on a back foot, still slipping punches, throwing bombs, countering and dropping you. So um I would say he took a took advantage of Joe Smith's aggression and lack of defense. That takes me to Dimitri Bavall, thinking about Joe Smith and the Yard. I don't see Dimitri at any point in the fight coming out giving that aggression like Yard had for a while, like we we saw. He puts he, he touched he touched better be be of up a little bit, and Joe came out landing big shots. I don't see Dimitri doing what those guys did to even get the respect and maybe to get better BF to back up. And far as with the boxing, I think that's when we'll see that night that he's much more than just a power puncher because a lot of things I think he's gonna do when say like when Dimitri slips to the left, you got a right, you got an overhand right coming. When he slips to the right, you got the left coming. You know, and he'll take what you're giving him, body shots. And that close con that close contact, I don't see better I don't see Baval being able to cover everything he's gonna get hit. And up to this point, nobody has been able to just take the punch. And keep going. So I think um, Bavar is gonna have, definitely have two game plans. One's gonna be to outbox him, move to the left, no move to the right to try to stay away from the right hand. But at the end of the day, we got we gonna have to see him stand toe to toe and toe to toe is where I think that he'll actually um, he'll get outboxed for a while, and then I'm still looking on a knockout. And like I said, this was just a follow up to the last video. I think I said the durability may be an issue. In this video, I'm saying that it's the versatility, the unexpected versatility coming from Arthur Bit Butter BF having that crazy violent power, but also being able to box, move, parry, slip, and being an excellent counter puncher also. So not changing for right now. And um I'll just say it. I don't see anybody beating Arthur at 175. I see in him reigning supreme in that division. Maybe if he moves up to cruiser Maybe um, maybe get a loss, who knows. But maybe he's going to retire in this division. But make it short. You know, I'll leave it right there. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. But nobody beats better BF at 175. Peace.